China's newest submarine breakthroughs are quietly reshaping the balance beneath the ocean's surface. A new expert study warns that while the United States still holds the technological lead, China's rapidly upgraded nuclear and ballistic missile submarines are closing the gap faster than expected. Today, we break down exactly what China built, how analysts reach these conclusions, and why these advancements matter for global stability and long-term naval strategy. By the end, you'll see how these underwater platforms could influence decision-making across entire regions. China's upcoming nuclear-powered attack submarines are at the heart of this transformational shift, and understanding why begins with recognizing the limitations of China's current fleet. For years, experts described China's older designs, especially the Type 093 class, as significantly louder than modern standards. Their acoustic signatures were comparable to vintage designs from decades ago, making them easier to track and less capable of blending into the complex noise of the deep ocean. These limitations shaped the global view of China's submarine program, growing in number, but lagging in quietness and power efficiency. The new findings, however, indicate an entirely different reality emerging. Analysts now believe China's next-generation Type 095 submarine represents a measured but meaningful technological jump. Its displacement is expected to approach 11,000 tons underwater almost comparable to modern American attack submarines, signaling a significant expansion in onboard systems, crew support, and energy capacity. What makes this truly notable is how this size increase supports better sound isolation methods. Larger hull volume is not just about more space. It allows engineers to separate noisy components, improve vibration absorption, and add advanced damping technologies. Reports also highlight that China may be leveraging reactor designs inspired by established foreign systems. This matters for one simple reason. A more efficient reactor allows a submarine to operate quietly at higher speeds for longer durations. Researchers monitoring satellite imagery and production cycles at major Chinese shipyards observed infrastructure dedicated to manufacturing reactor modules at a faster rate than before. These improvements suggest that developing reliable, compact, low-noise reactors is no longer a distant ambition for China. It is actively underway. The Type 095 is also expected to incorporate advances in hydrodynamics. Submarine hull forms evolve with each iteration, and improved shaping reduces turbulence and water flow noise. Combined with thicker anechoic tiles and upgraded sonar suites, the design begins to shift from adequate to competitive. It may not reach the quietest global benchmarks, but it reduces the acoustic gap enough to complicate tracking efforts by rivals. What this all means is straightforward. China's forthcoming attack submarines are transitioning from regionally constrained tools to platforms capable of operating with greater confidence farther from home. This redefines assumptions about underwater presence in contested regions and sets the stage for even more consequential developments with ballistic missile submarines. While upgraded attack submarines are important, the wave of attention truly gathers around China's next ballistic missile submarine, the Type 096. This platform represents an entirely new level of strategic capability. Analysts highlight that its expected displacement, around 15,000 tons underwater, places it in the same weight category as the most respected long-range submarines ever built. That scale is not for show, it directly supports endurance, stability, and a larger payload. And that payload is where the dramatic shift happens. The Type 096 is expected to carry up to 24 submarine-launched ballistic missiles, doubling the capacity of China's current models. The missiles themselves, referred to in the study, reportedly have ranges that allow them to reach far-off locations without the submarine needing to leave secure waters close to China's shoreline. When a submarine can remain in safer zones and still achieve global reach, it changes strategic calculations. It becomes significantly harder for other nations to predict its location, track its movement, or assess its readiness. Evidence from open source analysis suggests the vessel may feature propulsion systems designed to reduce mechanical noise. This includes the possibility of pump jet technology a system that replaces traditional propellers with a shrouded water jet mechanism that significantly reduces turbulence and cavitation. Reducing such noise dramatically enhances a submarine's stealth abilities, especially during cruising speeds. Coupled with advanced sonar arrays, 
both passive and active, the submarine gains enhanced awareness of its surroundings, enabling more secure operations. Some analysts also mention that the hull may be engineered for operations in colder northern waters. This detail is important because routes across those areas avoid narrow maritime passages that are closely monitored. Operating in broader, quieter waters introduces uncertainty for any nation attempting to track these platforms. Submarines that can exploit larger oceanic domains increase the unpredictability of their patrol routes, further enhancing their role in strategic stability. What makes the Type 096 so significant is not only its firepower or its size. It is the combination of stealth upgrades, extended missile range, and potential Arctic adaptability. Taken together, these features elevate the submarine from a regional asset to a long-distance, globally relevant tool. As these capabilities mature, the strategic landscape shifts. Nations must account for new patterns of underwater movement, broader patrol zones, and the rising possibility that multiple submarines could operate beyond familiar coastal regions. This is where the conversation transitions from technology to the broader elements shaping undersea advantage. The third major development isn't a single submarine. It's the growing ecosystem surrounding China's naval modernization. The new study highlights that even if any one submarine class is not individually groundbreaking, the combined effect of China's shipbuilding capacity, regional sensor networks, and diverse fleet composition creates a powerful long-term trajectory. Let's start with industrial power. In recent years, China's shipyards have expanded their output dramatically. These facilities are now capable of building large, complex vessels at a pace unmatched by most nations. The infrastructure includes dry docks long enough for major submarine hulls, automated welding systems, and modular construction techniques. The implication is clear. China's strength lies not only in designing advanced submarines, but in producing them at consistent rates without long pauses between batches. This industrial advantage allows China to deploy improvements faster in field fleets in meaningful numbers. The second element is China's network of undersea sensors. Analysts note increased activity in deploying acoustic monitoring systems across key maritime regions. These systems, combined with AI-driven analytics, aim to interpret ocean noise patterns more efficiently. While experts caution that such networks are not yet capable of detecting the quietest submarines with high certainty, the presence of layered sensors still enhances situational awareness in local waters. When combined with satellite tracking, aircraft, unmanned vehicles, and shore-based listening stations, China constructs a diversified detection framework. The third layer is the role of China's diesel-electric submarines. With a fleet numbering over 40, these vessels operate quietly in shallow coastal zones. Their quietness at low speed, especially when using air-independent power systems, adds complexity for anyone navigating the areas surrounding China's eastern coastline. These platforms complement nuclear submarines by creating a dense, multi-layered underwater environment that challenges external forces attempting to approach or monitor Chinese territory. Now consider this alongside the challenges other nations. Production delays, maintenance backlogs, and limited shipyard capacity make it harder for them to replace older vessels. When one nation improves incrementally while also increasing quantity, and another struggles to keep pace with its own force structure, the long-term balance shifts. It's not about one submarine outperforming another. It's about overall momentum. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.